This is Clericon we're talking about, not your grandman's henhouse. What is Talera doing back here? The ships are loading now for Mel Shear. Are you ready to board? Right away. Agarth, you know better than any of us how this will end. Why must we fight a war that you know we will not win? You would still ask that to Lara, after all you've seen. Until I get an answer, Fate Weaver. Until then. Why do we fight? Because there is hope. Because only through battle can we break the chains that Fate has forged. Don't you see? We have been given a chance, and though some of us will die, we will die knowing that our lives were finally our own, that we are no longer slaves to the whims of fate. Would you throw it away? Just for fear of another defeat? Not I. I will fight. And if I die, I die knowing that I have made a choice. And this choice, for good or for ill, was my own. The General has returned. This is all the help we get. Can't seem to sleep much anymore. I hope they don't attack with tr Welcome to the siege. Not exactly the heroes of legend, but you're a welcome sight nonetheless. I was just a child before the siege started. I joined the army because I dreamed of becoming a hero like the great General Tilera. Funny thing, dreams. When Melson Shear was built, the Winter Fey weren't the friendliest of neighbors, but they were nothing like the Tuatha they'd become. Cluricon is all swamp. Jungle and death. Have you ever tried fighting an army in a place like this? It's hot, wet, and it always smells like something died, because something did. We've been the front line of this war for the last decade. The fact that Mel Senshir still stands at all is a testament to all we've sacrificed. The General's army used to defend us, but that was before the Tuatha started summoning Niskaru to join them. Tilera's forces never stood a chance. Still, she blamed herself and went into exile. We could have used her here, but heroes only show up when you really need them, right? Those bastards keep squeezing us and squeezing us. Well, it's time for them to see what we mortals can do. Likely, you've come to see the fortress before it falls. I've seen her stand for the last ten years. But the end, I think, has finally come. Our scouts report that the Tuatha are massing, and in their wake we've seen it. The Niskaru Lord, Baylor, has come for Melsen Shear at last. Indeed, they expect us to hide behind the walls of Melsen Shear. Instead, we'll rush the field and delay the Baylor's arrival. That leaves the Witch Knight. Malwin is the commander of the Tuatha forces, and likely the one who has made a pact with the Baylor. You and Talera will be part of an effort to kill him. If we can kill Witch Knight Malwin, then the Baylor may run rampant in the field, and in the chaos we can rout the Tuatha. It is much to hope for, but that's the plan. Soon. I know you're eager, but take a moment to make sure you're ready. Check your gear and say your goodbyes. When you're ready, Come meet me by the gates. I'll be readying the troops. <laughs> It'll be a miracle if we last a week.
I hope you're ready for what lies ahead. This is no time to make jokes. These people are scared, and your chances are slim, with or without that spear. Mel Senshir's fate was sealed long ago. You may be able to change that, but the Tuatha aren't taking any chances. Prepare to fight, and be ready to die. Be on your... You didn't think I'd miss this, did you? You look a little nervous. Another body for the ground. The general has returned! <laughs> I don't care what if is the bartender's manning the ramparts. I've got plenty of supplies if you've got plenty of coin. Come back again. I've got plenty of supplies if you've got... Plenty of coin. Come back again. Great General is back, just like she promised. Another ten years, and I might have started to doubt. Name's Tarek Smith. I'm the best armorer this side of the strait. If you need me to repair your gear, just say the word. Stay safe. What is it? Time is running out! Steal yourselves. The battle is not to be taken lightly. Then let us go. We've had sightings of the Tuatha Vanguard. When they enter the courtyard, we will open the gates and counterattack. You and Talera will use the distraction to execute your plan. One way or another, this will be over soon. Begin in earnest. I will take one path and you another. 
If a Wigeland's troops hold, then Malvin will be delayed at the outer wall with the Baylor. But we should make sure he doesn't get past us. Now, we must get moving. There is no room for error. <laughs> Our arrows rain down on them. They charge! Finally, some reinforcements. 
We tried to fight off the two others, but they took most of our company prisoner. They threatened to execute the rest unless we lay down our arms. You could get in amongst them, silently, if possible, and save what's left of the survivors. I recommend you tread lightly in there. They'll probably kill any survivors if we try to mount a frontal assault. Normally, I'm a scout, but anybody that can swing a blade has to do their part today. The two upper moved on us in such numbers, we couldn't hold them all off. must be slain.
ます。
She died how she wanted to. But her sacrifice won't mean anything unless you do something to stop that beast. Niscaro, as big as this fortress. It's pushed us all the way back here, and now it is tearing down the very walls of Mel Senshir. Utuwana must be truly mad to conjure up such a beast. We held off the last wave, and then that thing showed up. I dragged them both here, but I don't think they're going to make it. Utuwana are all over our lines. The battle is a bit of a mess right now. I heard them stop pounding, a bunch of fighting, and then nothing. Yes, I have you to thank that we're not completely overrun. Join you? I can't just leave my posting in such a state. I'll try to hold up here best as I can. Good luck to you.
to offer. They're gone. After ten years, I can't believe they're finally gone. It's over. After all these years, the siege is broken, and we're alive. Thank the gods for sending you to us. This is a glorious day, but I have heard a bitter rumor in the wake of all of this. Is it true? Has Talera fallen? Then, the rumors of her dishonor will finally be silenced. She gave everything to us in the end, and the world will know that. When we rebuild these walls, we'll name them after General Talera. Her memory will stand as long as the ramparts shine. But she never would have been here had you not delivered her to us. It can never be enough, but we hope you'll accept this as our thanks. Now, we rebuild. Rubble from the outer walls is still blocking the gate. It will be some time before we can clear it. Until then, Agarth says you've got unfinished business with an old friend in Detir. Don't worry yourself. Soon we will begin the campaign in Cluricon. How can I help you? New day has dawned. I've got plenty of supplies if you've got plenty. Give coin. Come back again. The Tuatha lines have broken, and we still live. It looks like fate has a sense of humor. Please, forgive my melancholy. The champion of Mel Senshir should be cheered, not subjected to my sorrow. I am Adrian Tyr, and I owe you my thanks.
Though many have been lost, your courage saved a great many more. I am a warrior, nothing more. I go where I am told. I will spill blood with my company upon the shield wall until either I fall or no enemies remain. I did not think fate would let us survive that onslaught. It seems that even if fate is not on our side, you are. She was the greatest among us. What happened out there on the wall? I knew she would redeem herself. Thank Lyria she was here, and that her life was not given in vain. Melsenshir has been my home for seven years of bitter struggle. As grateful as I am for the strength of its walls, I am eager for a new horizon. I was dead, or I should have been at least, if it were not for a Varani mercenary who threw himself in the fray. He fought like a demon, and I was able to escape. The poor man was not so fortunate, though. I watched the Tuatha cut him off, and then he was gone. It shames me, but I once held such mercenaries in great disdain. But this man, whoever he was, he was a warrior of honor. He was cut off and surrounded by the Tuatha. He is surely dead. However, his body must lie somewhere in Cursewood. It would give me peace to learn of his fate. The Varani warrior? The last I saw of him, he was cut off behind Tuatha lines in Cursewood. Farewell. Honor to you, champion. I watched from the battle's van while you faced Malray and his demon pet. You have earned great glory and the respect of all Alphar. If you have a moment, could I ask a favor of you? I have never been a part of a battle like that before. You and Telero were magnificent. Historically, the First Sword is the greatest blade master of the Alphar army. I earned the title when I killed a Tuatha champion known as Zerastes. We grew up together back in Arathel. I've never known a warrior more courageous. Since the Tuatha penned us here, Mel Senshir has become more than just our home. It is where we made our stand. Now that the siege has been broken, it will be where we rise up and take the fight back to the cursed Tuatha. My sister can be abrasive at times. Do not let her rough exterior fool you, though. None can forge a finer blade. Since the battle, several of my men have asked for the chance to challenge the champion of Mel Senshir. You slew Malwin and destroyed the great demon he commanded. They hold you in awe. Five of our greatest fighters have asked, and if you accept, they will each face you here in the practice yard in single combat. There are five in total. Anayan Gaius, Tarek Smith, Sephedra Will, Adrian Tyr, and my sister, Lagna Sen. Tell me when you are prepared to fight, and I will summon the appropriate warrior. Good luck to you, champion. Excellent. Your first challenger is Anayan Gaius. He is a veteran of more than a dozen campaigns and my personal aid. This should prove interesting. Go with Lyria. That last fight with Anion was interesting. He fared better than I thought, though I was unsurprised when you bested him. Prepared for your next challenge? Your next challenger is Tarek Smith. The smith spends all day pounding steel. Do not let him pound you too. 
Go with Lyria. You certainly didn't pull any punches with my blacksmith. I hope he can still hold a hammer tomorrow. Sir Phaedra Will is next. Are you prepared? Sir Phaedra is one of my best scouts, quick and agile. Give her any room and she'll make the ring into your grave. Go with Lyria. <laughs> You handled Sephedra readily enough. Perhaps it's time you face Adrian Tyr. Adrian Tyr survived alone three times when his company to a man has fallen. The soldier refuses to give up. He is fearless and enduring. It will take the force of God to bring him to his knees. Good luck. Go with Lyria. Adrian fell harder than I thought he would. Well done. Your final challenger is my sister, Ragnar. She is the finest weaponsmith in the Alfar army, and a peerless fighter. She will bury her sword in your heart if you are not careful. Do not underestimate her. Go with Lyria. One by one, the greatest of the Alpha have faced you in single combat, and all have fallen. Now it is my turn. I am Bronwyn Aurelia Sen, the first sword of the Alpha. I was born in battle, and hundreds have fallen by my hand. Let us see what you are truly made of, champion. Go with Lyria.
You are worthy of honor, warrior. I have never faced your equal. Take this. Tilera herself granted me this blade for the slaying of the Tuatha champion, Zerastes. But you deserve it more than I. The Alpha honor you, champion. May the Tuatha fear your coming. Go with Lyria.
Another just please harvest. Make your peace more. hardly know where we are, let alone what this place is. I, I just want my husband back. I've heard that these wilds are the last place in Detir to find the Fey undisturbed. I'm a seamstress, an excellent one. Lot of good it's doing me right now. Please, my husband needs help. I can't bear to think about what the Fey are doing to him in there. We were just trying to pass through to the Red Marches when the Lord became ill. We had stopped so he could catch his breath when the Fae came storming out of their ruin. They took him past the barrier to the south, and I haven't seen him since. They took him to a ruin beyond that fork in the road. I tried to stop them, but they won't release him until the curse is removed. I have no idea what they're speaking of. Please, help us! Thank you so much. The Fae took him through the narrow pass nearby.
Prepare for a reckoning! Boy! two choices. Fight or die. Those who choose to live face conflict. It is the natural balance of this world. The weeds preclude the flower's bud. The spider's web arrests the fly. The water carves the rock. In the dry waste of the tear, in the land known as Alcerund, the House of Valar became the home of this primal force. It's amazing that the Fae can flourish in such a warm environment. Looks like I'm in luck. Don't expect to see so heavily armed an adventurer wandering into our camp. Are you interested in a job? I've got a Fae beast situation I need taken care of. Excellent. A pack of wild Fae have holed up at the Canyon Hill site at the top of the ledge. I've already dispatched a scholar to investigate. But he hasn't returned. You'll find him near the road towards the mine. I'll have more information for you there. But it isn't useful for much else. 
The coward refuses to go near the fae. Get to the site and figure out why those blasted things have come out of the mine. And then get rid of them. Speak to the scholar when the deed is done. He'll pay you. If it weren't for the beast lurking at our doorstep every day, I'd find this place quaint. As it is, I can barely retain my sanity. Capstan Odvar runs an inn and serves as our chief of security. Oh, where are my manners? Foreman Vyer at your service. This here is Motus Mining's latest outfit. And my care and charge. I've seen some strange things. Flickers and flashes from the top of that mountain. No idea what causes it, and I don't want none. We've got our hands full down here as it is. I receive reports of strange happenings in those caverns. One of the workers claimed he saw horrifically scarred men wandering near Saltwell Mouth. Here's a weak-eyed, knock-kneed, biscuit-biting excuse for a scholar. But he's the one I've got, so that's that. They were our biggest competition. Then they discovered this site, actually. When we caught wind of it, we made sure to get up here with a bag of gold for each of his workers. So they promised to work for us instead, of course. Worked like a charm. <laughs> Poor Edgar Edda never found a way to recover from that. There's no one else to run his mine. He probably couldn't find the money to pay them even if he found new staff. <laughs> if I sound proud of us, it's cause I am. It was a big victory for Motus. A forsaken, wretched wasteland with more beasts than grains of sand. Still, by the domes of Odessa, I'll not see this venture fail. Our scholar, Inser, ought to be at the Canyon Hill site, getting to the bottom of this damn holder. He ought to be back already, telling me how he fixed it. If you do see him, give him a kick for me and tell him to get on with it. We've got miners just standing around not mining. Good day. I watch them day by day, their foolish meddling scampering to separate one piece of earth from a slightly different piece of earth. They know that the land will endure, will heal any wounds mortals can inflict. But I worry that these wounds may be long to heal. I cannot act, I am bound by our beliefs. But an agent of change could cauterize these wounds by making the century plants bloom. Have you met her? Fair and dark as the night itself. She will sleep until my time is past. Then I will lie down and dream while she walks the sands. I shepherd the surface while Orenda sleeps beneath. I await the day when I may lay down to rest as Orenda does beneath the sands. The mortal's growing influence in this world wearies me. The little mortals, you mean? Forever cutting, clearing, digging, will they never stop? Won't they tire of it and go away? Normally they blossom only every hundred years. The land stirs and wakens, and what was worn away rejuvenates. That is the way of things. In ages past, we danced in circles on the dunes and sang sweet songs to the distant peaks. Now I alone walk here, while Arenda dreams in reverie below. Oh, I cannot make them bloom, not now. When the time is right, one fey whisper will do. You mortals are not bound as we are. You can grow such things out of season. You wouldn't know with these little mortals here. 
But these lands are a fey place, and fey places need refreshing from time to time. The blooming of the century plants is the fastest road of recovery. The century plants have deep ties to the pulse and marrow of the land. Their breath wakens the desert, causes the rocks to stir and grow. A friend of the sands, you'll do what needs doing. You will need Petricar. Here is a skinful I have gathered. But first, you must ready the plant with fire. Only after fire will they drink the petrichor. There are three century plants in this land just now. Make all three bloom, and all will be well. The smell of the earth after rain. I have gathered it over years in that skin. For each of the three upon the sands, Scorch it with fire, then slake it with the petrichor I gave you. For now, then. In ancient times, the desert had no shade. The sun burned the land to ruin. The rivers disappeared, and the animals hid underground. The people cried to Helios for mercy, but he didn't answer their prayers. As the plants withered in the heat, the hollow lands echoed with the crackle of fires. What is it? You! You are my contact! I should have known. Punctuality is not one of your people's strengths. And you have so few. Edessa is the greatest bastion of knowledge and understanding in the world. Alpha are their hearts, mankind as its gods. But our only commandments are the solid, predictable laws of natural science. His knowledge is invaluable, and must not fall into the wrong hands. And I'm terribly worried about your safety too, of course. That goes without saying. 
as Templar. The forum demands that I do everything in my power to advance our knowledge. It is a tremendous responsibility, and one I take quite seriously. Formerous Hughes is one of my most brilliant scholars, and as you know, his research shows tremendous potential. His recovery is of paramount importance. My fellow Templars and I sponsor research that will lead to the betterment of all mortals. Sadly, Alfar and Man alike often have trouble accepting the reason behind our decisions. But most gnomes realize we have their best interests in mind. You may recall our mutual friend, former Hughes, the gnome who brought you back to life. I suspect you would, but I gather you've been quite busy. Well, Scholar Hughes has been missing since the attack on his tower. As his patron, I am quite concerned. I want you to find him. You are, how shall I say, uniquely suited to the task. I could ask the same question. For all I know, former Hughes is on the run from you. I am willing to assume that's not the case. Simply put, you may be my only chance of locating Hughes. Just as I may be yours. Don't be obtuse. I am his patron. As such, I own everything that Scholar Hughes produces. I suppose that includes you as well. The secrets in his laboratories are meant for gnome eyes only. They must be controlled. At any cost. It would seem the incident in Alistar made Scholar Hughes a touch uh, paranoid. Every time we receive a clue about his location, he vanishes before I can reach him. But he's running out of places to hide. It's my opinion that there's one hope left to finding Hughes. You. I'm grateful. Scholar Hughes is quite fortunate to have friends like us. Hughes has an old laboratory in the cavern of Saltwell Mines. I believe he's been conducting research there since the destruction of Alistar Tower. Find him, and you will be rewarded for your contribution to science. I will await your success in the Lavraria Minadesa. He may have returned to his old laboratory in Saltwell Mines, but if any of my people approach, he'll flee. He's quite paranoid, for good reason.
Yes, I have a moment I can spare for you. Stay safe. <laughs>